the shepherd and the wolf. Every day, a poor shepherd sends his child to take care of the few sheep out in the meadow. We can't afford to lose even a one, he would tell the child. So keep a close eye on them, Rachel. And if you see a wolf, shout as loudly as you can, and the whole village will come drive that wolf away. Day after day, Rachel sat alone in the meadow. I wish a wolf would come, Rachel would say to himself. At least then something would happen. And then one day, Rachel had an idea. Jumping to her feet, he cried, Racist! Racist! As loudly as he could. And sure enough, the shepherd and the farmer, the milkmaid and the baker and the dry cleaner all came running. But when they reached the meadow, there wasn't any racist there, just Rachel sneering. We have better things to do than come all this way for nothing, they muttered, and they angrily left. And that night, Rachel promised his father he would never play such a trick again. But a few days later, as he was watching the sheep, Rachel became restless again, and thinking of how amusing the last trick had been, Rachel drew in his breath, and he shouted, Misogynist! Misogynist! And sure enough, all the villagers came running, but they didn't see any misogynists or one percenters or anything like that. And they grew very angry and they left again. And nobody was going to believe Rachel anytime soon. So the very next day was election day. And Rachel took the sheep out to the meadow and they started grazing on the birth control pills and the other candy and goodies that they got from Obamacare. And soon enough, a sheep started looming up from the woods and it grew bigger and bigger and it came closer and closer and Rachel said moderates moderates and they were all coming to vote and they passed right over Rachel and the sheep and the birth control and they left Rachel there all alone because nobody likes a liar thank you very much and don't forget to vote on Tuesday